when you play three hard games, everybody tells you that's the way to go. When you play three easy games, they tell you that's the way to go because you can play more depth. You can't change it. It is what we it is. We did our job. We're three and zero right now, and we're going into conference play. Um, we'll we'll try to actually on some positives that we have had a chance to expand our depth. Have we faced a ton of adversity? No, but I'd rather be where we are right now than to be one one and two or two and one. To be honest with you, so you know I, I've said it. We we're, we're not we're still haven't you know we can play better up front. I know that for a fact, you know, and I've seen it. You know, we did it last year. Um, we need, we still need to play better. It's going to be a challenge. You know, I think they're fifth in the conference. I mean, fifth in the country in net punting. You know, and we're a great punt return team. They're number one in the country, I think, in kickoff returns right now, and that's going to be a challenge. And and I've always said, when you get in this league, you know, especially on the road, special teams are going to be um, the key. You know, when we when we had wins last year, you know, we had a block punt at Washington, we had a kickoff return at UCLA. You know, which was huge. Our special teams were, were tremendous for us at Tennessee. Um, and when you're playing teams that are that are even, um, the special teams become huge. So our, our kickoff coverage unit, we spent a lot of time on it today, it, um, is going to have a, you know their work cut out for them because they've got some explosive guys and they took almost two back um, on Saturday against a really good Wisconsin team. So we've got our hands full on both sides of the football, but uh, uh, it's a challenge that uh, we're looking forward to. The challenge to play at home, to me, that's a key. You know, having been played at Oregon over the years and, and then just the experience that we had at Wisconsin this last year, the fans make such a huge difference. I mean, you get that stadium. Uh, it doesn't even have to be full, but you, you get those people excited about what's going on during a football game and our students excited about what's going on during a football game. And, you gold it out and you get a lot of people in there. The motivation that that has for our players is unbelievable. And not just that, uh, the distractions that it can cause uh, you know, for the opponent. So you know, hopefully we'll have a heck of a crowd this week. I know our students will be there and, and uh, uh, be rooting like heck. And we just need to get as many people as we can and get that thing rocking. You know, I'd like to be able to be spread out a little more at times, and but you know, it just seems to be what we're doing best right now, and so we'll continue to build on that while we work on everything else as well. What's happened in the past with a, a first game of a conference, whatever, has nothing to do with this team, and so we've got to go up there and play, like I said, in a very difficult place to play, and, and, and they've pulled off some big upsets over the years up there. Our goal is to win every game that we play, um, whenever that is, and so we happen to be playing Washington State this week, and that's our goal to win that. It always will remain the same to win every game they allow us to play. Well, it's, a, it's an exciting week. We're looking forward to a, another tremendous challenge uh, early in the year here. It, it is, uh, it's got all the makings of that big buildup uh, because of where they are nationally. And, and uh, you know, it's uh, the, the kind of the, the renewing of our, of our series with Boise State, which has been uh, both good and bad, I suppose, is a way to say. Uh, but we're looking forward to the uh, opportunity to play the number three team in the nation. You know, we're going to have to play a really good football game. And you're getting a, when you play Boise, if you're in it in the fourth quarter, you've got to play it right to the end because all of us have time and again seen Boise pull games out at the end. So, you know, we're expecting 60 minutes of hard-fought football.